friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. It's old Rock and Randy here to tell you, the British are coming, the British are coming. Oh wait, that's for another time. It's old Rock and Randy with the Premier Pro Wrestling for number 415 tapings. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but Big Papa's got a hot date tonight with old Patsy that I met at the Dollar General. So I got me a new shirt. I'm dressed too impressed. And you could get a shirt like this too at our official merchandise shop, <gasps> Premier Pro Wrestling on Pro Wrestling Tees. That's right, we kick ass Do we smell shit. He said, let there be God. light, and there was. The lo Lord, is that you? That means I have his blessing. Okay, let's get down to the brass tacks. <gasps> Match number one featured a new young up-and-comer in his first appearance for Premier Pro Wrestling. The young Patriot, in preliminary action, faced Charlie Hustle. And although he did come loaded for bear, look what happened at the end of this one. So... Maybe Charlie's codependent, and Charlie is uh, projecting that on the young Patriot, doing all these things he doesn't need to do to humiliate and really hurt him instead of just trying to pin him. I'd be pissed too, but it's not his mustache. Oh, beautiful corkscrew fisherman's and a cover. Still that cocky cover. He got it! The winner! Charlie Hustle. Match number two. And he is legit. He is too legit to quit. Bum, bum. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Uh, uh, uh. Zero six. The larger of the Tokyoans. That's right from Tokyo, Japan. Zero six. He faced off with badass Brandon Campbell and he got the jump on Brandon. But Brandon was born at night. But guess what? 06. Not last night. Watch what happens when Brandon Campbell turns the tables on old 06. He is pumped. And he kicks him in the stomach. What's coming now? I can't wait to be honest with you. Oh, a standing suplex and a 240 pound man. Unbelievable. And that's what he gets for that quote unquote. Pearl Harbor job that he pulled on Brandon Camp or tried to pull. Dues will be paid, and there's the claim, or no one does it better. One, two, and three. Your winner in under three minutes, Brandon Campbell. Match number three. Now this was odd, odd, odd. Especially if you're sitting where I've sit and you've known El Guerrero for as long as I have known El Guerrero. If you know El Guerrero's children, as long as I've known El Guerrero's children, his wife, his ex-wife, that's right, I know this guy for a long time and I was really surprised to see what happened at the end of Do or Die. Guess what Do or Die is? Premier Pro Wrestling on Patreon. That's right, you can stream Do or Die, all our big monthly tapings and our weekly podcasts and help us keep the doors open. <sighs> Premier Pro Wrestling on Patreon. And here El Guerrero came out this last Saturday night, PPW 415. He issued a challenge. He said he wanted a handicap match. Tag team rules. And he got it. Boy, oh boy, did he got it. When he faced off with a long-awaited returning... Brother Dave and the Flying Phoenix. And watch what happened here. Oh, El Guerrero took his shortcuts. He's taken to this quote, end quote, he'll turn like a fish is to water. You know, they're wisely waiting because he could cut him off out there. Coming in the hard way. Oh, they've got the upper hand in El Guerrero. Ian's got the right to get him back there. They got to the count of five. He kicked him in the nuts. He kicked him in the nuts. Nobody saw it. The ref didn't see it. The Flying Phoenix didn't see it. Oh. Your winner of this handicap,
Then, yeah. match number four, saw Charlie Hustle in a meat and potatoes match against Rockstar Rosie. Of course, Charlie Hustle had an axe to grind with his tag team partner who had every right to be ringside as he had his manager's license renewed for the week. Marcus the Science Smith, and let me tell you, what a great, even matchup. Unbelievable to see Rockstar Rosie, and maybe it took taking the mustache from Marcus the Science Smith in the career versus mustache match. <gasps> and you can stream that again, Premier Pro Wrestling on Patreon, do or die. But unfortunately, the mind was mightier than the bosom and let it roll so you could see how the cowards got over on Rosie. Marcus the Science Smith trying to fan him from there. Rosie's got to do something and it's got to be quick. Oh, beautiful double chop. Beautiful drop kick. So quick. Another one even higher. And here, oh no. Oh, no, no, this might do it. He's going after the carcass. That's for getting on him earlier. He's going after the carcass. Rosie got to focus. Get inside there. No, no. Oh, and Charlie Hustle nails him outside the ring. Drew's telling him, get inside this ring or I'll, I'll disqualify you. But the problem is, he's distracted. The referee's distracted. He's going to try to short him. I'm talking about Marcus. He ducks it. The sleeper. He's got the Burmese sleeper on him. He's got the Burmese. Apparently, apparently, the winner by count out, Charlie Hustle. After a brief intermission, Big Papa needed to freshen up for his big date with Patsy. Patsy, Big Papa's coming for you. Ha cha 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 cha. After the brief intermission of my fluffing up, we saw Marcus the Science Smith in singles action take on one Jake Hazard. And I can't believe how these people are taking a Jake Hazard. Don't forget, if you're not in the area and you're not able to see, our live taping Chicago area. That's where we are, Chicago land, where they don't buy it. If it's bullshit, they want nothing to do with it. Let's face it, Chicago fans, all sports fans, and especially Chicago wrestling fan, has a nose for bullshit. And they are buying Jake the Hazard, Jake Hazard, as they have dubbed what I like to call the Randatorium, our studio, the House of Hazard. But, um, but, but look what happened when this one came to, came to a conclusion and the ever so resourceful Marcus the Science Smith. Jake pointing. He's inviting him to get up. I think he wants a submission. I think he's pissed off and he wants to make Marcus submit via full Nelson. He got in there and worked earlier in the night. He got him up and he's spinning around. Marcus is like a child out there. He's got it. He's got it locked in. He wants that submission. Maybe he should go for a pinfall instead, but it's okay. I get it. I get it. I'd be pissed too. I'd be pissed too. Marcus is dipping. He's dipping. Wait. No, no, no. Oh. The winner of this matchup, Marcus the Science Smith. And then, that's right, fans. I've talked about it in the commentary. I've talked about it on the podcast, the Ramcast, available on Patreon. Premier Pro Wrestling on Patreon. Why say no when it feels so good to say yes? Subscribe to our Patreon and help us keep the doors open. And I've talked about... The fact that today's long matches go eight minutes, not here. That ain't how we roll. Ask badass Brandon Campbell how we roll. The same badass Brandon Campbell who is the king 
of the Ironman. 30 minutes. Those matches will go 30 minutes unless one man can continue. And at the end of the 30 minutes, the man who has tallied up the most pinfalls or submissions is the king of the Iron Man. Jose Acosta, with his new attitude, he got a new attitude, wanted to garner that belt along with his PPW Heavyweight Championship belt, and he threw out the challenge to one bad-ass bad ass Brandon Campbell, say that three times fast, and uh, he wanted to start his collection of gold around here so he doesn't have, have eyes in the back of his head to serve his ego. God only knows why. God only knows what's motivating Jose Acosta today, but son of a bitch, these men went back, forth, pillar to post, up, down, sideways. Unbelievable 30 minute matchup. These men went 30 minutes and it was a 30 minute time limit draw. And hopefully, our producer has enough energy to compile a little bit of foot video footage for you right now to get a feel, a taste, a smell for what the hell happened in that. Oh, and that's what he's doing, he's getting mad. Unbelievable, Jose Acosta is taking a shitload of punishment right now. He'll throw all the way across the ring. Talk about a high impact move. Look at Jose's over there in a bucket. Brandon's waiting to set up for the Claymore. He's trying to hit him with the Claymore. Oh, Jose tripped him with his own legs. Unbelievable ring placement by Jose. It cost the power. Imagine if he was standing. Irish whip in. Jose goes behind and right back to that left leg. He caught him. It looks like he's holding his, uh, his uh, tibia or fibia, the front supporting bone, to the side of the shin. That's the son of a bitch. That hurts. Oh my God, Brandon Campbell is saying, is that all you've got, El Guerrero? El Guerrero kicks him right in the sternum. Brandon wants more. Kid, oh, you don't have to prove anything by, I guess you do in this sport. The man can to take the most and keep coming is the champion. And that's why Brandon Campbell is the challenge pro champion but Jose Acosta proved why he's every champion one two no out of the hole unbelievable Acosta spent Campbell spent and there are four minutes left in the match four minutes I don't think we've ever had the history of PPW he's going for the finish Brandon put the brakes on Oh, oh, man, unbelievable, Campbell comes to life, Campbell came to life, he came to life somehow, sits up, rolls through, he's up to his feet, the blood is back in that leg, back and a cover whoa no he's not satisfied oh son of a bitch what's he gonna do to him beautiful fall away slam oh now he's got him up for that big sidewalk slam that spinning sidewalk slam into a backbreaker oh Jose back and forth. Jose stays alive. Second row. Turn Buster. Turns him inside out. A cover. Oh, this is it. Two. Oh. As you can see, that was intensity, as Ted Nugent used to say. Intense cities. El Guerrero versus badass Brandon Campbell is not over by a long shot. And speaking of long shots, this Saturday night, if you can attend. The rematch happens, and this time, it's a King of the Iron Man match under 60 minute rules. Also this Saturday night, you'll see a returning ROZ. He's going to team with Jake Hazard to challenge the current champions, Marcus the Science Smith, and one Charlie Hustle. 
Humac returns. The Aztec giant, 350, 375 pounds, is back. You're also going to see in his honor, and he asked for us to hold off another week. And who am I to say no to a guy that size? Hey, no, I'm not a pussy. I'm just old. Got to pick my fights. You understand? He asked me to hold off on the All Japan Style Battle Royal because he thinks he's favored in that light. I bet you he is, especially at that size. So you'll see the All Japan Battle Royal. The difference between All Japan Battle Royal and your standard independent garbage battle royal is this battle royal is decided via pinfall in the middle of the ring. And it's a hell of a thing when the dog pile happens when a dozen guys are on top of one poor unsuspecting bastard on the bottom. Okay, folks. That's the wrap-up. Hopefully you're not sick of Old Rand yet. Again, please subscribe to our Patreon. You get all kind of cool-ass content, and I'm going to say it again, just like Tommy Boy's dad did in Tommy Boy. Why say no when it feels so good to say yes? And Premier Pro Wrestling, official merchandise shop, Premier Pro Wrestling on Pro Wrestling Tees. Is that enough pimping? I think so. All right, Patsy. Hold on. I'll be right with you. Keep your drawers on, mama. You get a good look.